Hi, as part of my job, almost every day I have to build one or the other solution architecture for the cloud applications. Now, one of the tools that I've really liked over time is Cloudcraft, and I'll show you exactly why leveraging this tool can help you in multiple ways. So we'll begin on the site by creating a blueprint. I'm gonna call it an Azure Basic App Architecture. I'm gonna to go to the design and as you can see in the design you have Amazon AWS as well as Azure and Azure is a recent support that they have added into the platform I believe it's in the beginning of March so we'll go to the 2d view because this is where I'm gonna create the whole design and then we are gonna switch to the 3d view so let's say we have to build a web app so I'll just go ahead and drop a web app over here and you can't just call this web app without um, a user being displayed so we'll introduce a user as well so this is my user who is going to call the, the web app uh, as you can see it's pretty convenient to drag drop we would definitely want uh, the calls to the web app be routed through a firewall so i'll just include a firewall here and the third stage um, the call to web app should actually go from an api management because um, i know the extensibility requirement so we'll introduce api management um, and i know that there are some blobs that we have to store so i'll call functions um, azure functions so we got this azure function app as well the purpose of the azure function is to call is to store something in a blob so we'll go and introduce the blob the items are available to you as form of the icons and others as part of the, the 3d view so i'm using trying to leverage those so my azure web app is going to call some db we'll see we have got cosmos and database for postgre postgre seems to be a good choice and the reason i've built the architecture like so is because i know that in future I will be extensing it and will be introducing some logic apps down there so we'll just go ahead and connect and I'll show you how it e easy it is to connect I'll just click it and introduce an arrow and and from an API management I'll go here I'll try to make it a little concrete and that's pretty much it down the road I believe we'll be introducing event grid so I'll just introduce an event grid here because even grid will give me the, the flexibility to invest in future on the logic apps um, and so that's how the future extensibility is going to be like one of the great feature of this uh, tool is that you can create 3d looking images um, so you can always harness them into your documentation i'm gonna go ahead um, give title so this is my user already there and uh, this is my web app just in case i want to establish drag drop the item slightly differently and then i can introduce areas so for example an area like this so i'll go ahead and uh, give it a name i'll introduce a label and say that uh, this is my computational zone or whatever you want to call it this is how you can create some fancy looking designs again switch to the 3d view and you can switch between different layers and things that you're not interested in you can take them out and export the design as required be but as i mentioned earlier one of the great features of the tool is that you can actually look at the cost now this is something where we the architects have to work in different directions so we have to craft the diagrams for the documentation or for the internal consumption purpose of the actual teams which are going to build the, the entire solution then we'll have to work with the infrastructure personnel who would help us identify the cost or we have to go to the azure price calculator or the similar for amazon and then identify the cost over here you can do it slightly differently so i'll go ahead and introduce a virtual machine so this is my virtual machine and as you can see over here i have the details i have the linux platform this is an a1 v2 version instance which is going to cost me 31.54 and if i go to um, azure price calculator select uh, the virtual machine you will see that the need to go to azure price calculator would be eliminated because i can identify the entire cost of my solution from cloud craft so over here i'll go and i'll say i have to host the solution in ua north so i'll select ua north over here as well ua north my version is linux and i have to go with a1 v2 
and the the standard tier is selected over here it's also the standard tier it's costing me 31.54 a month and if i go down you can see it's 31.54 as well so the need to leave this solution is gone altogether and if i go to budget i can actually go ahead and look at the actual cost of my entire solution now so this way um, i can very easily build the designs um, into different great looking forms and simultaneously uh, keep a very close eye on the budget and different areas of the budget i can go fiddle around the different details of each artifact of the solution and then once i'm done with the architecture when i've designed it fully i can just go ahead uh, click it in 3d and export it into the png format and just um, introduce the whole architecture in one of my ppts or word document and i'm good to go i hope you like it